have to say, I want people to feel the way I felt watching my favorite movies growing up. Um, my family are big uh, movie people, and forget movie nights, it was just, we just watched movies all the time. Um, my favorite actors, writers, it was just always on the screen. So essentially, I want, I want somebody to want to say, okay, um, they chill one day and they just want to put on my movie or my show or whatever, something that I have affiliation with because it's their safe movie, it's their safe show. You know, something like, oh yeah, I can watch this a million times and never get sick of it. That's my motivation. What motivates me and keeps me driven is knowing where I started. You feel me, bro? I started on a humbug, like, I got a refund check from NSU and didn't want to blow it on anything frivolous. I don't even know why I was looking at cameras, bro. It just, I was like, camera, I'm going to get a camera. You feel me? Started shooting around campus, bro. Kept it on me everywhere I went. And that same summer, I ended up shooting my first wedding for my god brother. And then, being that I was posting all that summer, uh, the media director of the Norfolk State Span program, excuse me, had a, saw my work and was like, hey man, you should join the media team. I was like, hey, cool. So, uh, shout out to Norfolk State and the Spartan Legion because that was really like the honing ground of my talent, bro. They let me just experiment with lighting with editing you know what i'm saying they let me experiment a lot with my edits and like the recaps that i did for them it was a lot of audibles in those moments too so that definitely prepared me for this moment or these moments it's it's really mind-blowing um sometimes it, it's, it feels really surreal like i really can't believe it no it's really amazing to see that something I wrote was not only um, inspired somebody to build in to that character, um, but to see them do it so well. And it's just like, so so we were here. You, you caught what I was doing. It's, it's really mind blowing. It's just, I know it's first of many, but it's definitely surreal, but it, it, it most definitely feels amazing. I'm sure it'll feel amazing the hundredth time, but the first time it's just this like, I can't believe, I can't believe it, Jesus, but it's just, I'm, I'm very grateful. All right. <laughs> All right, we're good. Let's uh, let's leave it. I became a part of this project because I was contacted by Shaquille. He had found my profile on an app um, called Backstage. Um, and I had listed my profile on there a while back. Um, and at the point that Shaquille contacted me, um, I had actually forgotten that I had placed um, my profile on there. Um, but once he gave me information um, about the project, I was excited to, um, you know, find out more and um, be a part of it. Actually, when I was presented with the opportunity, I wasn't um, really looking to do anything. I had done a couple local um, TV commercials, so I really um, didn't expect to do more than that. That's pretty much what I was looking for. But really, like I said at the time, I wasn't actively looking for anything. But once again, when um, Shaq told me about the project and the passion that he had for it, and he told me that it was gonna be about the lives of millennials, I said, uh, I don't know if you know this, but I am not a millennial. <laughs> and um, he said, no, you'll be playing the mom. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Craziest thing for me to do was show my heart to these strangers, hoping that they approve. Pouring out all this anguish only makes me a fool. Vulnerability dangerous, who do I run to? With my escape road, I was there for you, more than I was for myself. At my weakest point, who can I lean on for help? Weaponize intention, fetishize my lynch, and now I'm just alone. Trying to bank on feelings, it's empty here. Uh, I try to fight, now the fun of fear. The eye-opening part of this project was the fact that people are watching, like, 
you never know who's watching. You know what I'm saying? Um, Cause it's definitely times you go out and about, and it's like, bro, I see that you working on that that web series, man. Like, or that I see you working on that series, man. So it's like, bro, the people who I didn't even know were even following that page or keeping note of what I was doing on, on the creative side, like, were honing in on it. So I try to keep that in mind as I'm moving now. Like, bro, people is definitely paying attention, you feel me? So give them something worthwhile, you feel me? And I feel like that's what we've been doing this last year. That was really dope as well. Um, when I found out that he was going to be the DP, I got super excited because for a long time, you guys, he has literally just sat and watched me. I was on the sidelines watching her write or talk to Shaq, but he was calling her two, three times a week. And I'm like, who is this? Who's this guy you're calling? Just, I'm, I'm open my laptop. You know, he's like, okay, I'm like, can you read this for me? Does this sound right? You think they're going to get this? You know what I'm saying? But when she brought me in on what the, the, the talk was, but I was excited for her and and everybody involved, you feel me? When he comes back from um, a recording session with the, with the crew and everybody, and he was like, hey, you remember when you was worried about that part? They really would. And I was like, for real? Like, so it was such a great experience, him seeing a completely different um, point of view than, because I, I came with maybe like maybe once or twice or so, Sets, but him being there all the time, like yo, they really liked this set, or they were cracking up. They couldn't. It just, it really made me feel good. So us work on it, and working on it together was was definitely great. Cause he um, just cause once after I wrote it, you know, and gave it to Shaq, you know, my part was kind of almost done. So um, you know, wrote it. Time went by for them to you know start casting and shooting. So it was like, you know, the, the high kind of came down. But then I'm like. Oh yeah, I did say that. Oh, that did happen. Oh, baby, thank you for reminding me. So he was definitely my, my go-to guy for that. So it was great. Miss Lenore um, is a mom of millennials and I am a mom of millennials. Um, so that kind of made it easy for me to step into the role and play that character because I was able to glean from my own experiences as being a mom. My first day on set, I was extremely nervous, didn't know what to expect, but Shaquille, the cast and crew created an environment um, that felt safe to be creative and to make the character my own. The most eye-opening um, part of this for me has been number one, character development, you know, what goes into developing each character. Um, and number two, all of the processes and everything that goes on behind the scenes to create a story. And the amount of time that it takes, for instance, to do each scene, the amount of takes, you know, those types of things. So um, that's been the most eye-opening eye uh, part for me. The experience with working with Shaq as the director has uh, definitely been great, bro. It's been a learning experience. Um, I feel like he's definitely very humble in, uh, in his accolades and what he's even doing right now, bro. Like, this is something big. Uh, and I don't think many, I don't think other people in the area have the, the patience he does, you feel me, to, to plant the, the seed and let it grow and watch it grow, you feel me? Well, Shaquille has been great. Um, his passion for the project shines through in everything. Um, his professionalism um, shines through in everything. But I think one of the most um, important things for me is that Shaq has created a family-like environment um, in as much as us doing things outside of taping um, the show. He's been wise enough to surround himself also with a great team that also have a passion uh, for the project and that shines through um, in every character and every crew member um, that has been a part of this project. Um, it's made me feel more comfortable and it's also been inspiring to watch you know everybody um, be a part of the project and uh, make it come together and um, to be able to see his vision come together. Shaq is amazing, y'all. <laughs> Shaq is cool as hell. Um, first of all, I wanna say, uh, when I first worked with Shaq, it was um, towards the end of Intercession, his first um, film, and um, 
I came on on the last on the last day of shooting. He was like, "You want to be on a PA?" I was like, "Yeah." He definitely put me on, and um, I appreciate that. He knew that I had just you know got my master's in wanting to write. He said, "Hey, you want to you want to um, work on this with me?" I was like, "You asking me?" Well, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll take that. So uh, working with Shaq has been cool. I've seen him um, in the pre post and the you know production stage of it all, and just watching him keep his calm. And you know, just stay nice and cool. It's just like really awesome to see. Um, Shaq is really cool with um, just about everybody on set, and it's really cool to work with. Anytime we had our meetings, writing sessions, you know, he gave us notes. Very understandable um, with um, timing, <laughs> and you know, and knowing that everybody has stuff going on. So he's he just he's the bee's knees. Like I really enjoyed it again. Can't wait for the next season <laughs> or whatever else is next is coming. I need to leave one time and they on my ass all day.